because of the laptops, um, it has allowed us to think differently and think of a lot more potential um, ideas that you know maybe we've had discussions about, but we never really thought could become a reality. And, and now, um, it really has allowed people to see that you know education can be different than it was. You could even argue, Phil, you know, 70 years ago, you know, you could, as school is one of the few areas, professions, where you could go into a classroom um, 50 years ago, 70 years ago, and it's going to look pretty much the same as it has really supported, has really supported our, our move towards infusing technology um, into the way we do business. And um, it, it doesn't mean that, that what Van Meter or other schools, as far as that goes, what they were doing before was bad. That doesn't mean that at all. What it means is because the world has changed, we have to change with it. And um, if we don't, then the reality is going to be um, other other schools are going to change. And you know, you could make a, a pretty strong argument that with those changes, it could change the face of public education. And we want to be a part of that. And if we if we're not, then you know, who knows what happens with our school district? So we want to lead the change and and decide what happens to our school as opposed to some other entity deciding that. So that's really a, a big part of why we're trying to lead the change it's great as well. for the students because they get a chance to do things that they would never get a chance to before. Um, it's a different way to teach them how to learn. Um, some of the things they're able to build and create would not be possible without having the one-to-one -one computer ratio. Some of the students some of the students that it has affected more than others. I know of a student who turned in a book report just recently because he was able to make his book report a uh, video. He made his, it was an animated book report that he showed that he read the book. So it's an easier way to differentiate or have students be able to, to uh, turn in their work because there's different methods. Um, it, I think you're able to reach those students more it's probably not the cure-all because there's more education in, in the classroom is one thing, but outside the classroom they have to bring, bring the desire to still be educated. In a lot of ways I'm a first year teacher again because there's so much to learn. Every day there's a new website that pops up so that, and as a teacher you always want to teach the students the best that you can, so these new websites you want to see what they are and what the capabilities are. There's things that I have not even heard of a year ago that I'm teaching now, so that makes it exciting. Also, as students, it gives you just another way to engage them. We, the goal is to reach all students, and the computers give you another way to reach them where you didn't have that capability before. One of the things I think five years from now, students will be able to keep a digital portfolio where they'll be able to have all their work together so they could use it to show employers, potential employers, or act, uh, if they're applying for college, it'd be a nice way to show them some of the skills they have. Um, as far as students, what they're going to gain in the next four years, technology changes and I think the best way to learn when we learn concepts when we learn specific things dates and history we're learning but sometimes that information is not as applicable but when we learn how to adapt to new situations then that's the best kind of learning because it shows you know how to teach yourself how to learn or learn how to adapt to new situations so I think that really is the most valuable method of teaching because what they're learning always is going to be important but if they can learn new things and learn how to teach themselves that's going to be invaluable in their future Today, the lesson you saw is very similar to how I did it last year. Um, as far as changes that I've been trying to implement because of the one-to-one, -one, number one, it, the biggest thing is the communication. Uh, you got to see a little bit of that website that I have for class. That's been a big help for me to stay connected with not only the students but the parents. Uh, it's a daily log that parents can access, students can access. I post the notes as you saw there. They can download it if they were absent like Olivia was. Without me having to make a photocopy, without me having to ask another student to share their notes with a student, um, they can go there directly and access the information for themselves. Um, that's probably been the biggest change and biggest help for me. Uh, the number two thing is trying to go more project-based. Um, incorporating the use of the uh, applications on the computer so that kids can create instead of just regurgitate really revolutionize teacher pay the system of education and just delivery of knowledge to students and young people maybe there's a Chinese kid that wants to take a American history class and so I can sell my 
product, my skill, knowledge on history, effective teaching, to students not only in Van Meter but anywhere. We can, I can, when I want to lecture, I can video conference all the kids in. When I want them having to work on a project, I can assign the project, they submit it back to me, and then I grade it on a common standard, a common rubric for every student. Um, but that way, in the future, I'm charging essentially tuition per student. And so if a parent has an issue with me as a teacher, they don't have to take history from Mr. Jorth at Van Meter. They can take history from somebody in West Des Moines teaching at Valley High School. Their student can opt into that class and then I get paid on the number of students that I have enrolled in my class. You, the laptop part of it is, I mean, it's, it's made things uh, easier because of the technology as far as um, educating students, but the reality is it's just part of the piece of the puzzle, some of the changes we're hoping to make. Because of the technology, we think we can now uh, offer more of a flexible schedule. We're going to be able to offer more classes. Um, we're going to kind of have an on-demand type of, of learning environment, which that's more of what we plan on, you know, and hope to see uh, more of an individualized, personalized learning, and and really allow kids to find out what their passions are, and then whatever direction they want to go, go that direction as long as they're meeting, you know, our our standards, um, which will be established by the state using the Iowa Core.